Justin Harper is an assistant boys basketball coach at Davenport North. Just a month ago, he and his wife received the news that no parent ever wants to hear. Their two-year-old son, Wesley, was diagnosed with leukemia. Corey Kuffler shows us how the entire community has come together to help during tough times. Do you remember what the purple flavor was? Yeah. What flavor was it? At two years old, Wesley Harper can best be described as... He's always so happy. Yeah, Huckleberry. <laughs> kind of a little flirt. <laughs> he wins everybody's hearts. But it was just a month ago that his parents started to notice something different with Wesley. The only thing that um, tipped us off was like some abnormal bruising. You know, he had, he had a bunch of bruises that I couldn't necessarily explain where they came from. So they took him to the doctor, getting the news that was hard to hear. The nurse saying, you know, his labs came back. They look abnormal. You're going to be referred to Iowa City. You'll probably get another call here soon. And then the doctor himself called, which is not usually a good sign, and gave me some more details. Their worst fears came true. Two-year-old Wesley was diagnosed with leukemia. Honestly, I'm still having a hard time processing, like, you know, no two-year-old should ever have to go through this. I'm in no position to be able to handle everything alone and to know how many people love and support us. It just, it's really um, just kind of changed my whole personality. And honestly, I've learned how to accept help. Help has come in many ways for the Harpers. The North boys and girls basketball teams have been wearing shirts to support Wesley. There's a lot of people that care about us and want to see Wesley fight this. As Justin continues to be an assistant for the boys basketball team. Kind of like a getaway where my mind and head can go somewhere different than, you know, what's been going on. A temporary distraction. My head is there with Liz and Wesley. Wesley is starting to show signs of improvement, but still has a long road ahead of him. There's, there's various phases of um, the treatment plan. He ended the first one, and actually we got results as, uh, that were as good as they could be. Um, in terms of he he was technically in remission, meaning they found no leukemia cells in his bone marrow. And he continues to smile through it all. Corey Cuffler, WQAD News 8 Sports. Thanks, Corey. Justin and his wife Liz did receive some good news recently. The two are expecting their second child in June. And if you want to help out the Harpers, you can do so by going to WQAD.com. We've linked their GoFundMe page to this story.